Chainsaw Man. Ooh, yeah, I, I really had to pull the rose-colored glasses off for this one. I'm gonna keep this short because I'm re-recording it last minute because I just wasn't happy with how the original video went. There was also the issue that my perspective was kind of tainted by the hype. So after getting some perspective and thinking about things critically, I've had to alter what I've said about this series. I still really love Chainsaw Man. I think it's great at being what it is. But if you go into the anime, or even the manga, expecting something other than a fast-paced, action-packed gore fest, you're doing it wrong. Chainsaw Man isn't some deep, inspiring story. It's purely spectacle and hype. So if that's not your thing, by all means, don't watch this. You probably won't enjoy it. Chainsaw Man covers the story of a boy named Denji, who is living in absolute poverty. Denji, along with his pet devil, Pochita, work various odd jobs and whatever tasks they can find in order to pay off the debts Denji's father left him with. Now, things go sideways, Denji ends up dead, and Pochita revives him by replacing his heart. This makes Denji superhuman, with the ability to sprout chainsaws out of any part of his body. And now with a second chance at life as an immortal killing machine, he decides to start chasing his dream of feeling up them titties. Yeah, that's pretty much the synopsis of Chainsaw Man. Finding himself employed by the public safety department, which is responsible for hunting and destroying devils, devils being the manifestation of fears of specific things, so like bats or chainsaws or katanas, Denji seizes his opportunity to start living the good life. Of course, there's a little bit more going on. There's the active hunt for the gun devil, the issues with Makima, and Aki's obsession with slaying the gun devil to the point where he does not even care about his own life. So yeah, the story is very bare bones and there's nothing super incredible about it. Still, Chainsaw Man didn't need that. It's not about the story. It's more so about it being cheap entertainment. Now, could it have used a better story? Yeah, I'm sure it could have been much better written. But again, we're here to watch Denji sling around some chainsaw blades and carve some monsters up. With that being said, there is one thing that this series really needs to nail and it's animation. And honestly, while a lot of the fights are very visually appealing, I have a huge issue with the amount of CGI they actually used in the series. Originally, watching this, I was so wowed by a lot of the visual effects that they used that I didn't really catch it. But after looking at it more objectively, there is a lot of CGI used in this. Almost all of the times where Denji is in chainsaw form are done in CGI. There are very rare instances when he's actually in the middle of an action sequence when it looks like it's drawn like the rest of the series. So yeah, that kind of takes away from the action, but overall I thought it was pretty good. Like I said, this series had a bunch of fights that really wowed me, which was really all I was hoping to get out of it. Anything more is just bonus. Now I will give Chainsaw Man this. Its idle animation is superb, so long as you're not looking at the background. You can find a lot of CGI used in the background, but that only applies when they're out in the city and there are dozens or scores of people walking around in the background. And the foreground is still really, really well animated. So in the visual appeals department, Chainsaw Man gets a passing grade. Moving on, I don't really find any characters that I hate. Not that they're all like spectacularly developed or have some great emotional hook, but I find almost all of them fun and engaging in a way. And there aren't really any times where I wish a character would go away. Fortunately, in spite of the storytelling, I find that all of these characters have their own unique charm. I mean, the tag team between Power and Denji for comedic relief is fantastic. Other characters like Makima, Himeno, Aki, and Kishibe all help keep the story on track by being more serious and focused on actual goals for the story to hit. Meanwhile, minor characters have their own unique charm, like Kobeni. And that's one of the things I really like about the characters in this series, is it feels like a good collection of very different people. And the various dynamics running between people help helps make things more entertaining. And of course, the lack of character development is a byproduct of the lack of story. Now, the one thing I did really appreciate was the amount of humor they threw in there to fill the dead spaces. Like, there's so much stupid shit that happens in this series, I just couldn't help but laughing a lot of the time. Like, the whole fight between Aki and Denji. There's also the absurd notion of Denji just wanting to lose his V-card the whole time, and the ridiculous lengths at which he'll go to get laid. Or perhaps the moment where he kills a man in the most humane way possible, 
just because he doesn't want to stain the porn mags around the room. And here's where I have to admit that I watched this English dub, as I do with most of my anime. I read like a dyslexic toddler sometimes, and I just can't keep up with the subs. I really tried when I watched One Punch Man to switch over, but I missed so much of the context with One Punch Man that I had to go back and rewatch it. Either way, I think the dub succeeds in not being incredibly cringe. I thought the voice actors who did Power and Denji were really good, and I would even put the guy who voiced the Katana Devil up there as well. It felt like the voices actually cared about their roles, and really tried to make themselves sound right for the characters they were voicing. I think another thing that Chainsaw Man has going for it is it has a really Really, really good soundtrack. Aside from the opening kickback and its episode one outro, Chainsaw Blood, it also has some pretty good ambient music in the form of Edge of Chainsaw. And after that, every episode has its own unique outro. Now admittedly, some are much better than others, and I'm just gonna say that Chainsaw Blood is probably the best. But the series has a great sound to it. All things considered, Chainsaw Man delivers what it promises. A funny, flashy gore fest. That's it. That's all this series really is. I rate Chainsaw Man at an 8, solely because it delivered what I was expecting out of it. I never really saw it as promising any more than what it was. I never saw the promise of incredible story or deep character development, which is why I enjoyed it so much and why I give it an 8. But if I had gone into this expecting some sort of fantastic story and like rich character development and amazing world building, it probably would have hit like a 5. Regardless, if you want a short, highly entertaining series, Chainsaw Man is perfect. Grab your bucket of popcorn, sit down, binge the whole season in one go. I will personally recommend watching it, but that's all for me. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, consider subscribing and smash the like button. Or if you have some opinion about anything I've said, leave it in the comments. Have a great day and a wonderful life.